Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Chris Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War new mythic video for you guys. So, the new mythic, the Turquoise Emperor is available now in Glory, Gem Guild, and VIP Chess uh, for one week only. So let's see if we can pull a copy of this troop right here. Let's see what's on the adventure board. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. A verse. This is a verse four. Verse four. Ah, trash. All right. Let's see if anyone in the guild has picked this sucker up. Nope, not yet. Let's see if I can head over to global. Let's type in. Come on. Get there. Uh, let's put one. Let's see. Let's check our global. And there it is. The turquoise emperor is available let's see if i can pull a copy of this sucker let me turn off this first uh leave a global chat uh very good head back to the guild yep there we go players are already grabbing that sucker let me go over here and see what's there get all this blinky stuff off of my screen all right let's grab this all right let's go hunting baby let's go hunting so first off let's pop a couple gold keys come on move quickly all right, one more. One more set of 200. All right, so let's go. We're going to use up some of our guild seals first. Let's go. Guild chests. See if we can grab this sucker with only these. If not, there we go. The turquoise emperor right there. Um, White lotus is a spell. It's going to deal damage to all enemies boosted by blessed allies. And then it has a Lotus Blessing, a 50% chance to bless all allies with matching four or more gems. It's a decent final trait, and the spell is, is not bad. And let's see if we can make good use of this troop right here. But before, let's see if I can pick up another copy. I want to get at least three copies of this. Um, you know, I have to get lucky to pull three copies, but I'm going to try. Let's keep it going. And I already have some teams set that I could possibly use for it, but... Let's see if they work. Come on, come on. Come on, give me at least one more. Don't don't be like that. And if you guys get this uh, as early as I did, definitely drop it in the comment section. Let me see. Let me see how quickly y'all are picking up the Turquoise Emperor. Come on. Show me the money. All right. I think I'm going to switch from this because it's not popping up over here. But this is the, I think this is the best way. Uh, there we go. We picked up another copy. The Turquoise Emperor. So that's copy number two. Can I get copy number three real quick? Come on, baby. Come on, come on. King Heliodor. Decent troop. Frostfeather. Glaceon. Nothing yet. Come on, Bunny Nog. Scylla. Where are we at? Come on, Mr. Turquoise Emperor. Show yourself, sir. All right, so I'm at what? I'm at 10,495. 10, All right, should I keep on going with this? I'm going to keep on going with this. Come on, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Small amount left. 10 more sets. All right, just one more. Emperor Liang. Wrong emperor. That's not the right emperor. All right. Let's see. We have 6,000 left. Come on, sir. Give me one more copy. I'll settle for two, you know, but I really want, I really want three. Tannenbaum. Come on. Smash Mount. Not you, sir. Wrong. Wrong troop. Come on. Shock to me. Ugh. Assessor of Mahat. Aberroth. All right, one more. I think I might jump into some of my gem keys just because. All right, let's just pop these last sets. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, come on. All right, nothing there. All right, let's 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 dig into gem keys. Let's go 50 at a time first. One more. If it doesn't pop in those two, I'm going to go with 200 at a time. Come on. 200. Give me one more. 
Bro, look how many legends. And no mythic. Come on, one more set. Come on, bucko. Oh, my God. All right, let's go 50 again. It's not working out for me here. All right, one more 50. Show yourself. Third one. Come on. Don't be like that. Oh, my God. This is the last set. Let's go. 103. Give me one, sir. One. There we go. <laughs> Man, on the last pull, it decided to give me the third copy. So, yeah, we got three copies of the Turquoise Emperor. We don't want the upgrade. All right, let's head over here and let's put him into these teams. So the Turquoise Emperor, let's go Elf. He's an Elf, right? There we go. Turquoise Emperor from Shenteng. Um, so let's trade him right here. Very good. And now let's give him his final trait and then give him some green orbs. And I think I'm going to gold medal this troop as well right off the jump. Okay, level up real quick. There we go. So let's add on this. I think he gets magic because he's a mage. All right, pure magic. Pure magic plus two magic. And now finally plus three magic. See, I have some gold orbs stored up right there. So it's fully meddled and everything. Let's head over to the first team. Put them in here. All right, I'm going to move him to this slot. Very good. And now in the second team, put them in here. Gonna move him down there. Uh, team number three. It's gonna be right here. In the third slot. I think third slot should be good for him. Yeah, that should be fine. And then fourth team. It's gonna be down here. Put that one at the bottom. And team number five. Let's take out sacrifice and put in the turquoise emperor. Weapon on front. Leprechaun in the back. And yeah, those are the teams. Let's take a look at the the first team right here. So the first team is focusing on the Turquoise Emperor's ability to bless allies when matching four or more gems. Because of that Lotus Blessing, a 50% chance, it makes this troop have the ability to give almost a perpetual cleanse to the entire team. A 50% chance is a big chance to bless, cleanse all allies. And you know that, that bless stays around until the troop does some type of action. So either cast a spell or match a skull. If it's in the first slot, then the bless goes away. But until then, the troop will stay blessed. Or if indeed it gets cursed or an enemy has like banishment or something on a PvP team. But otherwise, it stays around. All right, so up front on this team, we're using right here the Doomed Focus. This is one of my favorite weapons here. Um, because of the weapon upgrades, right? The Doom Focus has the ability, let's take a look at the spell first. It has the ability to create four red gems plus one per tempering level. Um, along with that, it gives armor to all yellow allies. And if, enemy ha if the enemy has a Doom, it will eliminate all armor from a random enemy. Then for the weapon upgrades, it actually has um, Doom Delight. Drains two mana from yellow enemies. It has light. It's creating a light storm. It has sacred, which is bless myself, which is an additional benefit right there. Lightning and, of course, magical for the weapon upgrades. Ishtara is going to be on this team as well. This is another troop that blesses um, allies. It has a 50% chance to bless a random ally when my turn begins. Um, along with that, it has a boost ratio of its gem spawn based on how many allies are blessed. The one downside of bless, though, it, it's a weird mechanic in that every single time you cast your Ishtar, you're not going to get the full gem spawn. You're going to get about... I think you get about... You don't get full four additional gems. You get three gems because the ally that's casting, which is Ishtara, the blessing, if she's blessed, it goes away. Um, so that's one downside of bliss. But, you know, we're, we're going to see if we can make this work somewhat because the Turquoise Emperor is going to be here and he's going to have the potential of while Ishtara is getting the gem spawn, it is blessing her again. And, you know, hopefully it works out to the team's benefit. The class I'm using here is a Shaman Hero class. Um, this is the setup for the class. I'm using uh, Shining Staff. I have uh, Leading Light, uh, Brilliant Aura, as well as Dawn's Aura. Um, I have Armor of Light. I have Lightbringer and Divinity set right there. Everything here actually benefits the team. It's all on the right side, all under the light tree for the class. Every single talent. All right. And uh, Leprechaun's going to be at the back of the team. And yeah, hopefully this works out. I didn't actually test out this team yet. I just put these together because this weekend, me and Cam were flying out to enjoy ourselves on our uh, anniversary. 
So, you know, it's a good time for us. I really want to get these videos out to you guys. So let's let's hop into the first fight here. So we're going to go all the way over to, let's see, where should we go? Let's go down. Oh, let's, let's get this star first. Power level, what? Power level 23, 22? 22, right? 22, right? Can we get to 23? Nah, not yet. Not available. All right. Let's head down to um, Leonis Empire and let's make use of team number one. I think this should be a good place for this. All right, let's go. Battle number one, battle number three, I should say, in Leonis Empire. All right, so we have a number of different four plus gem matches on the board. Let's take those off first. And there we go. We got the weapon powered up. Let's see if I can get Ishtara powered up. There we go. So we got her powered up. Let's see if I can bless myself at least. There we go. Let's match this down. And all allies are blessed. Very good. Yeah, and Ishtar is getting the job done so far. It's a perpetual bless. Look at this. Yep. Yep. It worked. It worked. Um, that's simply focus on the final trait for the Turquoise Emperor. I think it's a good one. I think it's a good one. The Turquoise Emperor along with Ishtara is a good combination. Let's try it out again. Let's see if it... It works like it did the first time. All right, let's go ahead and do Leprechaun. There we go. We have all the allies blessed. Now let's go ahead and cast this. Get this tower powered up. And now let's cast her. All right, still not spell ready yet. All right, let's do this again. See if I can get her spell ready again. Ishtara. I might need an explosion on this team. Something to give... There we go. Let's see if I can get all allies blessed again. Uh, not yet. There we go. We have all allies blessed. Yeah, it's looping. It is looping. So yeah, that's that's a great option for the Turquoise Emperor on a team, you guys. That's the, the Emperor 1 team. All right, let's go ahead and go into the Emperor 2 team. Now, this team consists of a troop that blesses every single time it casts, which is High Priestess Cheska. Um, this is a Strix Divine Troop as well from, um, from Suncrest. It deals damage with its Dawn Rays. Deals damage to all enemies boosted by Yellow Gems, right? It's pretty good. I'm using uh, a class here that will make use of that as well. And then it bless all Yellow Allies. Um, Let's see who else is, what else here is notable. Uh, endless Dawn. Yes, I forgot about that. This troop has Endless Dawn. It creates a light storm at the, at the start of uh, each turn, right? Which is good. The Turquoise Emperor is right here. And yeah, this is going to make use of the Bless, as well as going to transfer mana to the allies. The Fist of Heaven is going to be here in the first slot for exploding yellow gems, which is cool, uh, because I'm going to have a constant yellow storm. Um, so yeah. Let's let's try this once again in uh in the honest empire. Mini boss fight. All right, let's go. And let's see if I can get some gems jumping here. Nothing. All right, let's match this first. There we go. So let's There, got all allies blessed up. Now let's see if I can match some gems. I love the explosions on this, man. All right, let's cast this one. Always going to have blessed every single time now this team is not as powerful as the other teams when it comes down to looping but undoubtedly it still gets the job done on a damage level right let's see if i can get the weapon power back up there we go let's go explosion again as you can see all the allies are gaining different status effects there we go and one more hit ah that troop has reduction to spell damage i forgot that Right, there we go. <laughs> and I should make mention as well, the class for that team is... Let's take a look at it. It's a Titan Hero class here, right? So, and this is set up for Titan that I've chosen for this. Impact, Counter Attack, Thunder Fist, uh, Storm Aura, Rock Solid, Lightning Strike, and of course, Fortitude. Um, it's a decent team. It's not my favorite, but it actually works. It takes a lot of casting, but it actually works. All right, let's move on to the... Turquoise Emperor 3 team. Now, this team right here is making use of the elf factor about this troop right here. So, it's a divine elf. So, I have a team that's boosted by elves. So, Secret Darkwood is going to be on this team. 
This is the journey troop from Zulkari. Right? The spell is pretty simple. It's basically uh, Chalcedony for purple. And it just loops over and over again. I'm using it with a Turquoise Emperor. And this could actually be a decent PvP defense team. Orb Weaver is the class here. And I'm using it because I want that purple storm. And I need to set that real quick. All right, there we go. Dust Aura, Stealthy. Uh, yeah, that's the most that's important. You can use Leprechaun on this team as well if you want to. Um, Leprechaun can be a great option. In fact, let me go try out Leprechaun. Let me back out of here. Back out once again. Go grab Lep. I'm using right there King Avalon, but if you want to use Leprechaun just to make it a little bit quicker, you can go right ahead, put Leprechaun in the team right there. And it's a great PvP option for you guys. All right, so let's take a look at the class just to make sure. I have um, uh, summoning a random... Web a random enemy when I summon. What am I talking about? Um, Root Trap there as well. Dust Aura, Stealthy, Inspiration, and Rising Shadows. And that, that's the most that's important. Um, the, the weapon I decided to go with here is the Curse Breaker wand. Why? This is dealing scatter damage. Um, plus four per tempering level. And along with that, it will bless all purple allies. The entire team is made up of purple allies. And will curse all purple enemies. Along with that, the weapon has uh, Curse Breaker. It has uh, Enchanting. It has Radiant. It has Lightning. It has Vital in the weapon upgrades. All right, so let's go here into... Let's see where we're going. Let's go up to Golvania. So make it a little bit less problematic when it comes on to the storm. All right, this is battle number three with the third team, I think. Third team. All right, let's go. Leprechaun. And you want to go ahead and cast Seekra as much times as you like. Yeah. Of course, you don't have an additional... Uh, an additional uh, elf on the team. You have Leprechaun here instead. But either way, it still works. You want to go ahead now and cast this. Cursing all enemies. Cast the Turquoise Emperor. Cast Seekra again. You can cast it. Well, let's keep on doing it. As you can see, it's like... the. The allies are perpetually blessed. This could be really good in PvP for certain players. Really good. Because even if, for example, Seekra misses here, you're still going to have complete control over this. Complete control. The enemy is not going to be able to do anything with you when it comes on to the Elementalist Hero class because you're perpetually blessed, um, especially with a troop like Seekra. Even more so if you're using um, a an additional elf on a team. For example, you can actually use Malkandessa if you want to get... A, a four times elf option. All right, let's go ahead and cast the turquoise emperor. Big hits. Oh, good. We got we got the umber wolf. We have a permanent storm here now. Big damage with the weapon, and we can cast leprechaun again. No, or we can cast secret. Let's go. Good. And that's it. As you guys can see, it's like I'm forever blessed, <laughs> which is good, man. This is good. Um, I think there are more teams possibly that you could even use this with. I just had, I just don't have the time right now to go over them in this video. So I made these. All right, so let's go ahead with this one. We have the Amethyst Band up front on team number four. This is a weapon that will give random status effects to all elf allies. Summon an elf troop. Orb Weaver is still the class here. Um... Let's take a look at this. We have uh, Talayo right here on the team. This troop is a pretty unique troop in that it has a unique spell, um, Enchanted Art. It will choose a color, enchant all allies of that color, and give them six mana. You'll give six mana to them, boosted by gems of that color as well. Um, the boost ratio is four to one. And King Avalon is on the team, Elf as well. And as you can see, the Turquoise Emperor is right here. Team number four, right? All right, let's go. Golvania. Let's see how this works out. Maybe I should have switched back the class, but either way, it's okay. Let's see if I can get the weapon powered up here. Do I have enough purple on the board? Uh, nothing. All right, there we go. We got Talayo ready. Everyone uses green for the most part. There we go. Let's cast this. He's going to be giving mana. So I think in this option, the team is hardly going to be short on mana here. Hardly. You just can keep on doing this, giving all green allies mana, damaging them. You can even cast your King Avalon if you want to. There you go. It's a slow option, but I can tell you this much. It gets the job done. All right, let's do green again. 
Explosion. There we go. King Avalon. Getting damaged, but it's okay. All right, let's see if I can uh, get the kill here. Let's do green again. Okay, sir, you're being annoying now. Being very, very annoying. There we go. All right, so this is another option for you guys. It's a slower option, but undoubtedly, based on the resummons, based on everything else, um, you're not going to die with this team, especially because of uh, King Avalon right here. It has the ability to summon in Forest of Thorns troops, um, which many of them are, are elves, and you know it, it will work well with this team. All right, so here is one of my favorite teams, right? Now we have the Turquoise Emperor on the team with the mystic manuscript right here this will explode purple gems right and grant a random status effect to all mystic troops um leprechauns on this team as well and the amethyalist is going to be here as a main damage dealer so i'm just going to seek to cast my amethyalist as much as possible follow up with the turquoise emperor engine just let it rip all right let's go this is the mini boss fight in um Golvenia. let's go leprechaun Short on mana. All right, let's 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 match some stuff. Let's go. Explosions. Big hits. And as you can see, the, this weapon as well has enchanting and it has powerful. So it has the ability to get back mana really, really fast. All right, the AI is being so annoying here. Ah, right. <laughs> oh, man. Let me tell you. Lost my troop, but it's okay. I didn't cast this troop, so. There we go. One more. Goodbye. All right, let's try that again, man. That board is sort of annoying. Let's go back at it. Let's try it again. What's up, Cam? How you doing? All right, let's go. Leprechaun. Big explosions. Let's explode all of that purple on the board. Oh, come on. All right, let's match that down. Get the Amethyllus powered up. And now this should kill him. Ah, that one has spell damage reduction. I forgot. There we go. Still got the win. All right, so those are the team, guys. About five teams for you guys. Hopefully, some of them were helpful. I think my favorite option... Most likely is the first team right here with Ishtara, the Turquoise Emperor, and Leprechaun. It just allows Ishtara to loop over and over again. If indeed she misses the loop, you can always go ahead and cast your Turquoise Emperor. And yeah, those are the teams. If you guys found this helpful, if you found this video informative, definitely hit the like button, comment, and let me know what you guys think. And yeah, share it with your guild. And come on over and check out the PvP teams, the Guild Wars teams, the Explore teams. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one.